Good morning and welcome to the broadcast. And we are here today with a very, very special lady, Anita Foster with the American Red Cross. Welcome. It's Thank so you. good to see you again. Thank it you. Is, it, Go ahead, I was going to say, it's just good to see you because all the time that I did the news over at CBS 11, we did so many phoners together. Right. And I think this is the first time that we've actually know, we've been, actually been in the person, same room. Face yeah. face. Usually I'm in a debris field right, somewhere. Right, right. So I feel like nice everybody knows you. It's nice to be like in a studio with like air conditioning. Comb your hair and whatnot. Yeah, right? <laughs> you have to put on makeup for this one, probably. I have to tell you, Anita, you make me want to be a better person because I'm telling you, I've been watching you for years and when I was at NBC and now CBS, um, and I'm telling you, when I get up in the morning, some mornings, and I'm like, I am tired. I just want to sit here and eat my <laughs> eggs and just relax. And then I turn on the TV and I see Anita Foster and she is at every major True. devastating event helping out and it can happen at midnight and she is there at 5 a.m. and I'm like, I need to be a better person like Anita <laughs> Foster. Well, you you know, do so much good. Thank you. That's, I mean, it's a humbling thing to hear you say that. And I, I'm definitely not out there alone. There's a whole team of people that respond every single time uh, humans in our community are in a crisis or the crisis happens somewhere else. And so we've been all over. We've been in West with the horrible explosions. You know, so I was going to ask you about that, Anita, yeah. because, you know, as we have these awful things that happen, the tornadoes and whatnot, they, they seem to take center stage. And then the last disaster sort of gets forgotten. So, like, in a situation like West, I mean, those folks still need help, oh, right? Oh, definitely. In fact, they just started demolition of the homes in West yesterday. And I just have so to even sad. seeing the story made yeah. me weep. You know, I know what those families went through. It was unspeakable. It was frightening. Yes, the help is going to be there for a long time to come. Uh, the Red Cross is still there. Now we're in what's called long-term recovery there in West. So we we're partnering up with a number of different organizations with the federal government to make sure that the, the people that live in that community have what they need moving ahead. And the first thing is, is really wiping away the old slates mm -hmm. um, and putting up new foundations. And that's mm -hmm. what's happening in West even as we speak oh, today. And it's heartbreaking, but it is yeah. good to know that y'all are there, that you don't just yeah. swoop in and take care of the immediate need that you're really there long term. For and everybody. we're doing the same in Granbury. You know, an F4 tornado oh, it's is, devastating. is not a common disaster to have happen yeah, in your right. community. And so we did have uh, quite a bit of significant damage, loss of life uh, right in our own backyard. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, just rolled to long term recovery on that on that particular disaster yesterday. And so now we're going to be convening partners from various organizations and uh, to make sure that people get help rebuilding and things of that nature, too. But it, it's been a tough, uh, a tough few weeks across the nation. Yeah. And then, of course, Oklahoma. And you know, Nate, we're just looking at some of the video now of, of the devastation that we're seeing in Oklahoma and Granbury and the F4. How do you even begin to prepare? Because really, my husband and I, you know, we're like, oh, we'll just go in the center, the center room. But people that survived the F4s and survived the F5s said that they literally had a, they had a game plan of literally putting mattresses over themselves when they were in their safe room. Right. What is some more advice that you can give us? You know, let me give you the best piece of advice that I've learned throughout the course of my career is your plan has to work for you. So mm -hmm. if you're a person who can't move your mattress, what are you going right. to do? Right. right. Like, and I'm so, not sure I can move a mattress by myself. I mean, it takes four people to, yeah. you know, to move it into your house. And so, you know, as a, a person who lives alone, that might not be your best option. So you right. need to know what the option is. And so I will say two pieces of advice that people often ask me about. Am I supposed to go to the bathroom? The answer is yes, if it's, it's the in most the interior part of your home. Right. But if it's not, then it's not your safe room. So find the most interior part of your home and if you can't move that mattress take the couch cushions take your blankets right. off your bed um, I am a disaster relief worker laugh all you want I take my hard hat with me mm -hmm. that's right no, I really do no yes. I know a lot of people especially in down like, I live in uptown and downtown um, people live in high rises and right. people who might be in hotels like the night that the tornado hit Granbury I was on the 33rd floor of the W Hotel and they sent us all down into the parking garage so people that live in high rises their unit might not even be the safe pla safest place well, either it, exactly like the Fort Worth the Tornado. Right. In 2000. So the best thing to do if you're in a high rise is go to the center part of the building. Usually beat the schools out rush and save a thousand dollars on braces at Apple Orthodontics. It's our best offer of the year, but you must start treatment by May 31st. Call to schedule your free consult today. 1-888-611-APPLE. We're really happy and proud to bring the Kathy Adams Collection. The selected pieces that we have chosen show the variety and the scale, the variations in textures and fabrics that this line brings us. With some of the patterns and the fabrics, either the graphic black and white or 
little bit of a, an ethnic pattern punch on the pillows. It just makes, it can really make a room sing. I just love it. Body language can tell you all sorts of things. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. Face drooping. Arm weakness. Speech difficulty. Time to call 911 and get them to a hospital immediately. Learn the body language and spot a stroke fast. <laughs> Such a funny episode. <laughs> I wish I had DVR'd it. What'd you say? With Time Warner Cable, you can view a show you missed up to 72 hours after it's aired. It's called Look Back. At no additional cost. Of course it's free. If you don't lift your game, I am going to have to trade you. He's a rookie. Yeah, it's his first week. Well, in that case, welcome to the team, Rook. Switch to a better entertainment experience and ask how you can get a $200 Visa reward card. Just call and save. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. Guaranteed. Of the app that is so helpful, app that is so helpful, is it will list your shelter information. Weather warning. It gives yeah. you notifications right. every time there's a, any kind of weather warning or watch. It'll notify you right. just like a text, which it's, is so right. helpful. Well, and the siren will only sound if it's a tornado warning. But you want to know right. that there's a severe Absolutely. thunderstorm warning. We yeah. got that last night right. without even having a watch issue. Right. Awesome. Right. Well, well, thank, thank you. you so much Absolutely. for coming, it's a Anita pleasure. Foster. It's a you are, to see you're you all. an inspiration. Make me want to be a better girl. Aww, I'm telling you. you. <laughs> and again, you can download the Red Cross Tornado app from the iTunes or Android store. You can also find their tips on. Online at redcross.org. 